Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Zach Pascarello. I'm a certified QuickBooks Pro Advisor, and I own and operate Harrisburg Bookkeeping. I want to make a quick tutorial for you, a QuickBooks tutorial, specifically on how to track projects. So if you all are already in QuickBooks, that's great. If you're not in QuickBooks already, I highly recommend it. And if you need any help, feel free to reach out. Check out my website, harrisburgbookkeeping.com, and check me out on Facebook under Harrisburg Bookkeeping. Just going to jump right into it. All right, so here I have QuickBooks Online. This is just the sample company. And this is what your QuickBooks Online account should look like. If you don't have one, this is what it will look like when you get one. So if you're all looking to track your projects, I see this most often with a couple different types of clients. Um, if you sell cars or if you sell any big, big inventory items that you are conducting, you know, repairs and maintenance on or fixing up and to sell it. So real estate, cars, if you're if you're flipping houses, if you're a construction worker, if you've got projects, different addresses, different properties, different houses. Maybe you have one customer and you're completely fixing the entire their entire house. So you want to allocate different projects, you know, basement, first floor, second floor, kitchen, dining room, living room, bedroom one, bedroom two, bedroom three. Whatever industry you're in, I'm sure you have some type of project and QuickBooks makes it really easy to track those projects because you're already tracking all of your expenses and income. So QuickBooks kind of puts it all in one place. So real quick, I'm going to show you where to find that. So first of all, you want to log in your QuickBooks online account and it might require an upgrade if you have Simple Start or Essentials. I don't think you can use it. I think you need to upgrade to one above Essentials either. Um, Pro or advanced. So on the left hand side here, if you see projects, that means you know you have access to it. If you don't, you might need to upgrade your QuickBooks Online account. But just click the projects here. So you want to create your project before you start tracking your expenses. So go to projects here and then just click new project. And you have two things here that you need to fill out the project name and the customer. So the customer is ultimately going to be who pays you. So this is just a sample company, but for example, let's just use Amy's Bird Sanctuary. So you've got this customer, Amy's Bird Sanctuary, and at this Bird Sanctuary, you're going to have multiple projects you're working on. So Amy's Bird Sanctuary, we will just say the project name is the birdhouse. So you're a construction worker, your customer is Amy's Bird Sanctuary, you want to track specifically the, the birdhouse. So you've created the project. Another thing that I see sometimes people do is they'll just make the project one main street and then they'll also create a customer that's one main street. So you need to have a customer, you need to have a project. I see this pretty often with construction and real estate, but for this example, we'll just use Amy's Bird Sanctuary and the birdhouse as the project. So Amy's Bird Sanctuary is the, the customer, kind of the overall customer. And then specifically underneath the customer, we have different projects. So we'll have this birdhouse. You can add whatever notes, add details you want to remember later. Okay, so the project has been created. This is the overview page for the project. Um, zero dollars income, zero cost, zero profit. So because we just created it, now we're going to go into the bank feed. You can do two things. You can either manually enter all of your transactions up here. You have invoice, you've got sales receipt, expense, bill, but I'm just going to go straight to the bank feed. That's typically where probably most of you are doing your bookkeeping. If you don't have your bank feed connected, highly recommend it. We'll make things much easier for you. Okay. So once again, this is just the sample company provided by QuickBooks. So here's a fake checking account a fake savings account and here's a credit card. So we'll go into our checking account and I'm just going to categorize three transactions kind of randomly just for example purposes. So this looks like some income. So 
I mean, I'm sure you know how to categorize transactions. I'm not going to talk about that here. So here for the vendor, the customer, this is where you're going to want to say the customer is not only is it Amy's Bird Sanctuary, but specifically underneath Amy's Bird Sanctuary is the Bird House. So it's very important. You don't just click Amy's Bird Sanctuary. You want to click the specific project underneath that customer. So this is income. Sure, we'll say design, income. Make the memo, whatever you want. Make the tag, whatever you want. I'm not going to get into that, but this is just for demonstration purposes. So we're reporting some income, $55 worth of income. We'll do one more income Amy's bird sanctuary birdhouse design income now here I'm going to record this not as Amy's bird sanctuary so something else just to show how it doesn't show up so there's a third income transaction that I'm going to categorize and then lastly I will categorize this expense. So you can see here on the bank fee, expenses look a little bit different because your vendor is going to be different from your project. So before you had the income just coming from one, one project, one customer, but here you have a vendor who's different from the customer or the project. So the vendor will just say Home Depot expense will say equipment rental and then here's where the customer project comes in um, birdhouse okay so obviously you all are using your QuickBooks for tax purposes right and then monthly profit and loss you know annual profit and loss balance sheet total company budgeting but the cool thing about these projects is that we can look more more specifically into individual transactions and individual projects within your company. So not only are we using QuickBooks for tax purposes and for big picture, total company, profit and loss, but here we can go to our projects and we can see specifically how are we doing on this project. So before I categorized four transactions, but here only three of those transactions are showing up. So I categorized design income and the job expenses. So here we can see we've spent 250 or we've made $255 and we spent $1,200. QuickBooks gives you the little profit there or the loss, negative $945. We can go under here and see all the transactions associated with this project. If you're tracking time, employees, 1099 contractors, you can allocate individual employees to this project and then lastly pretty cool under project reports you can go ahead and see your project profitability so it pulls up a specific profit and loss just for this one project so this is not for the entire company this is whatever you allocate to the bird house at amy's bird sanctuary so you're able to see here income and expenses so this will help you budget help you plan help you change the, the price of your services or your products so that you guys can maximize your revenue and help grow your business. So I hope this quick QuickBooks tutorial was helpful. If you all want me to make any other videos, feel free to send me a message, send me an email. I'll be happy to help with whatever QuickBooks issues you're having. Once again, check out my website, harrisburgbookkeeping.com. Find me on Facebook, Harrisburg Bookkeeping. I'm here to help here to work with you all. We offer tax filing. I work with the CPA. We do bookkeeping. We do taxes. We do consulting. Whatever you guys need, we can help you out. So I appreciate you guys watching. Hope this was helpful, and I will see you all in the next video.